a clip from Laura de la Verdad, starring our guest for this morning's Café California, Ricardo Montalban. Ricardo, your career uh, with Spanish language films, uh, like the one we just saw, when you see those images, what goes through your head? What do you remember Well, I, most? I think that I, I'm looking at my son, you know, when I look at <laughs> and I, I say, you have a lot to learn. Really? That's what I say, oh yeah. Yeah, it's all right, but I, I, I still feel that... Uh, that uh, you never never stop learning and acting. You know, you, you should get better That's and better. That's what's and better. actually yeah. so beautiful about it. Here's yeah. another picture from Fiesta from 1947. Yeah, my first film in this country. Oh, that's your first film here? At MGM, yeah. And you came with your, and what, do you, let me see, what, what, what film is that? Do we know? That's Fiesta. That's Fiesta as well? Still, yeah. When you came to the United States, your brother brought you here and you went to Fairfax High School. And right. What, what told you? Come to the United States. I don't. My brother said, "Ricardo, I want to take you so you learn English and you, uh, you know, you can be better prepared in the future you have, uh, by having an, an, an education, going to college and so forth." Mm -hmm. We're going to run some pictures now of your youth, and I'd like to just talk yeah. about it. All right. So you're born in La Capital. Right. These are your parents. Yes. Now Ay, celebrating the 50th, 50th, 50th wedding anniversary. That's what they were celebrating. Ah. And, uh, it was a custom in, in, in Spain. Did they always live in Mexico or did they ultimately come no, to the No, they, they were born in, in Spain, both of them, in Castilla. And, and my father in Valladolid, my mother in Soria. My two brothers, all the brothers were born in Soria. And then their family was moved to Mexico because my father was offered a good job in Mexico, came to Mexico. And then my sister and I were born in Mexico with the two Mexicans in the family. I'm very, Los very Los happy Mexicanos. that we are And that's Mexican. you as a child, I imagine. Yeah, I was, as a kid, yeah. <laughs> Golly. And <laughs> Little did I know then, yes. <laughs> and that's you as a child as well? Yes. At your mother's side? No, that's my sister's hand, At your sister's yeah. side. And that is so the my whole... two brothers were in Spain. My sister and I were born in Mexico, yeah. And I became almost like a, like, a, like a son to my sister. She loved me like her own son. That is this picture we were talking about before the show. Yes. You're, on a sh you're on a horse The ranch there. where I used to spend all my vacations belonged to some friends of my family. And I was always on horseback. I love horses. It was wonderful. And in Hollywood, that's a good skill to have. Yeah. You know, that's yes. why they... Yes. That's yes. why you're able but to... But you know, in, these, in the ranch, one of the things that happened to me in my youth is that in, in, in those moments, when I went to a ranch, my feet were actually on the ground not on cement or asphalt, uh -huh. on the ground. And when I used to take a horse, and sometimes I remember going up a hill and then getting off the horse and commune, com commune with myself. It was quiet, the birds were singing, and I was able to introspectively look at me. What am I, what am I going, what is this? In the city, you don't have time. Television, the train, no. it was a wonderful beginning of my life. It is yeah. to be exposed to nature and be able to hear yourself think. That's it. You know, the bombardment That's that it. we are, are under, they, they measure that. We get like 3,000 images a day. No. We begin closing them off. Very sad. Which Very is sad. bad for human beings. So that was a wonderful beginning off. for my life. I, yeah. Now, this is one of the movies you did with June Allison. This is the right cross. You played. Powell, yeah. They made you take off your shirt and box, and you took your shirt off in a couple of movies, yes, right? Yes, yes. And there you're dancing? With Lana Turner. With Lana Turner. Latin Lovers. Yes, in Latin Lovers. Is that right cross again? That's right cross, yeah. Did you, and you did your own boxing? Oh, yes. I, I spent three months training uh, with Johnny Indrisano. That's Esther Fernandez in Santa. The picture that really made me a star in Mexico. In Mexico. In, Mexico. Yes. in Santa? I play, I play the, uh, a, a gypsy bullfighter in that thing. Oh, uh, un gitano. Yeah. Y matador. Yeah. And that might be the same movie there. Yes, that's right. You didn't do the actual bullfighting. Oh, God, no. I did, I did some bullfighting in, uh, with, with smaller calves, you know, when I was a kid. Uh -huh. I wanted to be a bullfighter. That's really dangerous. I wanted to be a bullfighter. But then when I grew up, I found out that I didn't have the guts. And that was yeah. the end of me as a bullfighter. No, that is impossible, this thing of, can you imagine this animal that weighs thousands of pounds and, oh no, it's one of the most difficult arts 
in the world is bullfighting. It's, it's not a sport. It's not it's people don't understand. It's performance art. It's an art. It's not a sport. It's, it's a an performance art. art. Oh, yeah. It's an art. Ricardo, as you um, said at the beginning of the show, um, so many things have changed in your life, and you left Mexico, and you mm -hmm. basically, as I said, are one of the premier Latinos on the forefront. You changed mm. so Thank much, you. sincerely. Thank you. It's been such an honor to have you here. Well, it's nice and to we hear. could talk for 20 hours at least, and then we could go to dinner and come back and talk for yeah. another 20 hours. Um, is there a moral to your life, Senor, about uh, anything that you can, uh, if you want to be remembered for something, what would it be? You've done so much. You've been an actor, you've been a philanthropist, you've been a movie star, you've well, I think the most uh, salient and most important thoughts that I've had, and that if I were going to do one thing, one quality is, love thy neighbor as thyself. No matter what religion, what race, what love, 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 love. That's what uh, Jesus Christ came to earth yes. to tell us: love, love, love. And the more you love, the more you receive. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Isn't it's it? only love, love that, that that is going to help the world. Well, as I said, respect one another. How beautiful that would be, you know. You know, I can respect los derechos de ajenos, ajenos mm. which is mm. what I think Benito Juárez. Benito said. Juárez, la right. paz es el, el respeto al derecho ajeno. That's el respeto right. al derecho ajeno es la paz. Which yes. for us, our viewers who don't speak Spanish, although many of us do, is that peace. La, 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 peace is el respect, the, the respect to the rights of others is peace. Thank you for el joining respect. us, Ricardo. We're going to leave the. Uh, Special here with a look at one more of your films here. Nosotros. Nosotros. Or Emilia Thank you so much for joining us, Ricardo. My pleasure, Chris. Will thank you come again? Thank you for having me, of course. I'll, ha I'll definitely would love to interview you Certainly. some more because we, we didn't talk about so much about what happened when you were... Um, when you're my age, there's so many things to talk about, you know? <laughs> it's a long life. <laughs> well, I, I would, you know, they say I'd like to look your age uh, when I'm your age. I'd like to look like you now. <laughs> and uh, I think it'd be quite am, an improvement. I am now 80 years old. Yes, oh. And, uh, you know, it's... The big eight my, if it weren't for my spinal cord, I'm in very good health, and, you know, strong, so but God disposes. For 30 years, Teleku has built its reputation in the community on a foundation of service, empowerment, advancement, and the creation of self-sufficiency, achieving multifaceted growth through innovation and collaboration. And we really believe that the greatest social good that you do for an individual is the creation of a full-time job so that uh, he or she may clothe, feed, and educate their own families. Teleku, a pioneering institution for the ages.